well, Crow Wing County is a very special community, and, and it has a lot of great things to offer everybody that comes to enjoy this, uh, enjoy this area. And I'm Eric Klang, and I'm running for sheriff of Crow Wing County because I'm concerned about the safety of this community and my law enforcement uh, career, as you know, began about uh, a little over 20 years ago. And I've worked in undercover operations, I've worked in, uh, in field work, investigations, and really everything in between, every different facet of law enforcement, uh, starting from the drug task force to uh, field patrol. And, um, it's, uh, and of course, as your sheriff in 2002 to 2006, my education includes law enforcement uh, classes that we have to uh, keep updated on a yearly basis, and also a BS in uh, criminal justice administration. And I'm also the, I have a prestigious uh, uh, certification in Homeland Security, um, and which enables me to help participate in the National Emergency Defense Team. You know, strong leadership is, is brought back to the sheriff. We need strong leadership and bring it back to the sheriff's office. And I intend to do that with a, a four-point uh, uh, project or a four-point uh, piece. And the first one is protection. You know, I believe that we need to protect the people. Uh, we need to, uh, you know, as a sheriff, we're, we're the, uh, the face of law enforcement. And uh, protection is uh, a number one point. And I also uh, I'd like to add that um, as, as, that, uh, as that protection piece goes, you know, I promise and pledge to notify uh, folks of sexual predators that are living in our area and also emerging crime trends that are happening um, within our community from the young all the way up to the old. My second point is, is to lead. And I want to be a true leader as an example. Uh, an example of that is somebody that shows respect and value to the employees and to the people that come and, and uh, interact with us in law enforcement whether it be the public or whether it be other law enforcement agencies. And, uh, you know, people really don't care what you know until they know how much you care. So I think that's a vital piece to, um, as, a, as a sheriff, to possess a lead, uh, leadership um, example. Uh, people don't follow you because, um, they follow you because they believe in the direction that you're going. They're not following you because you're the sheriff. The third part is, uh, is to unite, or I, I'm very relational. My passion is to build and restore relationships with other uh, uh, law enforcement agencies, local, state, and also on the federal level, um, and also community stakeholders. We need to work together and effectively bring or deliver law enforcement services to the community. We all need to be on the same page. We all need to be working together for that. And, and thirdly is a service, and that's uh, uh, our level of service to the community shouldn't depend on where you live. We should all be sharing in one level of service. Uh, whether you call for Emily Police Department or the Baxter Police Department or Brainerd, uh, Nisswa, when you call for an officer, we should all have, uh, you should all get the same level of service. And we can do that by, um, by utilizing the special talents that we have in each one of these agencies, including ours, and uh, deliver that uh, out to the agencies that aren't as, um, you know, financially, um, have finances readily available to them. Okay. Should we move on to some of the questions, Eric? Before, Absolutely. Before